Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Great Lakes Lacquer All Shell Fade and I'm going to do some stamping. I started off this with Unt Peel Off Base Coat and here is Great Lakes Lacquer All Shell Fade. It's just gorgeous. I'm loving that shimmer in there. So here we go with our first coat and it's just such a light pretty shade. I'm telling you this is one of those polishes that just makes my heart sing. It's just so pretty. I am being sure to cap my free edge. And as you can see, that first coat's rather sheer. Got to break Woody out. Got a little bit of cleanup to do. There we go. A tufa. So there we go. We're going to go in with our second coat. Look how gorgeous. And the formula was really good on this one. It's just such a gorgeous shade. It's like a grayish blue with blue and purple shimmer going on. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this one also is thermal. Now, um, you will see some variations um, in between me painting different aspects of this manicure, and you'll see um, it's a real light gray blue when it's warm, and it gets into a kind of a dark charcoal gray when it's cold. There you go. You can kind of see it there. You can see at the tip it's different on my ring nail, on my ring fingernail. So I'm topping this with some of the uh, Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to get it to dry down. Being all nitpicky about it. Making sure to cap my free edge there. This is just such a pretty polish. I'll be using this butterfly plate that's from Bundle Monster, now Maniology. My Own the Black stamping polish from Braves Diva, my Beauty Scraper, and a couple of different stampers. So we're going to just swatch out this butterfly. And I know you guys might be getting tired of some butterflies, but I can't help myself. I'll be using Ives, Honor, and Iris to fill in this design. Those are all from Zoya. They're like from some kind of like satin matte or velvety matte collection. Of course, I'm going to put a glossy top coat on them, but they, they had the right colors for me. I really was trying to pick up the colors in that polish, the base color. So I have sped this up quite a bit. I do not work this fast. Um, I'm just going in and painting in this butterfly wing. And I am going to do two wings. I've uh, just going to, for the sake of keeping this video from being too awful long, I've decided to just show the one, but I am doing two. I love these polishes on this butterfly wing. I just think it's so pretty. I'm trying to use polishes in my collection that, you know, I had to have them, but I don't remember ever using them. So these are three of them from Zoya. That blue is just, oh, it's so pretty. Such a pretty blue. But it's springtime here, and we're starting to actually see dragonflies and butterflies, and all the little birds are coming back. Some, you know, the seasonal birds. And I just, you know, I just can't get away from the spring manis. I'm just, I guess, I guess that, you know, I. I just keep being drawn back to these and I'm a huge butterfly fan so I, you're probably gonna see more of these you know now we're gonna use that beautiful green honor from Zoya just gorgeous and it does take a while to do manicures like this to do these advanced stamping, reverse stamping, you know, I, there is a difference. Um, I'm not going to get into that today, but it does take a while to do manicures like this, but the outcome is so cool that, you know, it's just, to me, it's worth it. And for me, it's playtime. It's not really work. So, you know, I really enjoy my playtime with my nail polish. All right, going to flip it over and check it out. I see a couple of spots that need a little bit more attention. Just going to keep on keeping on. 
And these polishes do dry down to that like satin matte or demi matte or whatever they want to call it. There we go. I think we're about to wrap this one up. But we are going to set that off to the side and let it completely dry before transferring it to the nail. I don't want to smush because I do have it kind of thick in some spots and I don't want to smush any of those colors and distort the image. And I know I've never seen a butterfly with these colors, these exact colors, but you know, that's the cool thing about doing nail art is you can just do it any way you want to. And I would probably say that I let this one dry about 15 or 20 minutes. And then I'm going to go in with some of that super dry, some of that just clear coat from the Dollar Tree. Now you can see that those nails are really light and that middle nail is starting to change. It's getting dark on the tip. So here we go. We're going to try to place this butterfly wing. I want to leave a little bit peeking out of the top and mush that rascal on there. Tap it down real well. There we go. And now we're going to go in with our little snippy scissors. And these are called um, thread, thread nippers. I do believe I've added a link to um, where you can find these um, down in the description box. And now for the little cuticle cutting tool thing. And this one's just kind of breaking off real easy. It's um, kind of coming off there really nice. Now we're going to go in with our acetone and our cleanup brush and do our little tap on the ends. Kind of melt that polish smooth. Move that cut before I knock it over. And this is this was a successful decal transfer. I didn't have any issues with this one. So I'm going to top it with the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. Um, just because there is a lot of black in this, and that's one of the polishes I have trouble with smearing. So I am going to use that on this one and capping that free edge even because I do have some black down there on the tip. Oops, get back in frame, girl. And now I'm going to top it with the Posh Top Coat. Flat, fast, dry, glossy top coat. Seal that butterfly wing in. Cap that free edge. And you'd think I'd be done, but nope, I couldn't leave it alone. So now we're going to go in with the dotting tool. And on those other three nails that were left open, I'm just going to do some dots. And these are kind of like the little, you know, like butterfly trails. And I'm doing them like in a half heart. There was no real rhyme or reason with it. This is just what I decided to do. And this would, if you're going to recreate this manicure, you could do anything you want you could leave those nails plain but I just couldn't leave it alone you know gotta overthink it overdo it tie it all in together there we go dot 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 and I'm not the best at dotting because I have such shaky hands but I think it worked out pretty good for this one so there we go let those dry and top coat them. There's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.